Hey, it's Jason Pearson here, and I have a, a busy mom here. Today, we're gonna see her story here on the uh, Jason Pearson diet and how she's a stronger woman. Um, I got Dr. Joy Ruff here, who is a busy mom. And uh, how are you doing? How are you doing, Joy? I'm good. How are you doing? Doing excellent. Let's just jump right in here. You're a busy mom. You have a family practice. You're just super busy, and uh, you're a mom of four four children. And um, what's your backstory like? What's your what's your history? Tell us about a little bit about yourself, and also your external um, struggles you had and internal struggles you had before you um, came to Jason Pearson Diet. Okay, so um, like you said, I'm a, a mom of four kids. Um, I had the first two in med school and one in residency, and then the and then the last um, outside of once I finished all the training. Um, and medical education is grueling. The hours are long. The um, the food is not the best. Uh, even hospital food for docs is a lot of grease, a lot of fried, um, not so much grilled or baked things. Um, and eating weird hours, you know, like if you're in a surgery for a period of time, you come out your family, you eat what there is, um, whether or not the temperature is open, <laughs> the stack food. Um, and so didn't really have the best uh, nutrition um, in training and then you add on you know pregnancies and baby weights and things like that and then a busy practice coming out um, in in the past you know I had done curves back in um, 2000 um, and it worked um, but that was just after my first kid and then really after after him and losing the weight for him it just kind of added on since then. I've tried some other things. I've tried, you know, apps and I've tried, you know, calorie counting and being a physician, I know what nutrition is good and stuff, but um, just sometimes I just need someone to tell me what to do when and how to prep it. And then I can like do a massive amount of like meal prep in advance to prepare for my busy life. And so meal prepping is like the key to my success for sure. Um, and so I had um, just gained a lot of weight through fellowship because when you're a fellow, um, you're not restricted by duty hours like you are in the other training because you're considered a full doctor and so they can abuse you and pay you poorly. And so I was working basically 24 hours on, 12 hours off, work 12 and then um, off for the night and then work 24 and then or really it was more like 36 because it was a 24 but technically it went into the next full day and then I'd have my night off and then I'd work another 36 and then have a night off and so that doesn't really you know, sleep affects your eating and your metabolism so um, yeah I just I gained a lot of weight from that um, and just stress a new job new to um, so um, that was like the external struggles it's just time um, and young family and my husband doesn't really need to lose weight and so trying to you know the wrapping my mind around the idea of cooking for myself one thing and cooking for the family something else was a challenge um and eventually i got there um i was like most people probably find out about you hanging out on facebook looking at some friends profile saw a friend's profile and she had lost like 60 pounds in a ridiculously short amount of time. And I'm like, what the heck? How did you do this? And I knew it was possible and I knew it was technically also medically safe um, if it was done right. Um, and so she pointed me to you and I asked her like a million questions um, on a private chat to like, like a messenger chat to her. And she answered them and I was like, well, okay, fine. So I signed up and like I'll just try for a month and if it makes a difference great if not okay and um and I was motivated I was like I really need to do something different this, this whole year has been a year of change for me um personal social life um changes and just trying to feel like taking back my own future and my happiness and my health and no mm -hmm. nutrition is a part of that and um yeah and just like kind of spiritually feeling like I needed to be um, just 
this better place to take care of my family and um, thank you post I'm 37 and I, I know metabolism slows as you get older and I didn't want to go into my 40s and 50s at a higher weight where it'll take longer to lose lose it. Um, not that it's possible, it totally is possible. I just wanted to do it the easiest way. Um, and so I signed up, I did it for the month, and I mean, I lost nine pounds in the first week. Wow. And I've never been able to like do that that quick. And I felt okay, I, you know, I um, was do doing fine. And um, by week two, you know, I mean, so another lifestyle thing, like your water, I talk to people about water all the time um, as a physician. And so um, drinking a gallon in the morning, oh, that's so hard to do, but I'm used to it now, but it was so hard to do. Um, but I started liking it by the week, second week because I was like, I'm not waking up at 3 a.m. to pee. Because, and then it dawned on me, like, I, I was like, well, there's, there's a reason for this, so think about it. And so I realized that I had been going through the day and dehydrating myself because I was too busy to drink, you know, quote, unquote, um, water, and then coming home thirsty at four or five and drinking a lot of water in the evening. And then when you have to pee at the morning, that's what happens. So then so, turning that on the head and drinking in the morning, um, most of the, I wasn't coming home thirsty and then I wasn't needing to drink that much. And you know, I'm like, that's really, I like that. So, yeah, I should have my water ball out. Um, so what's the, um, so you're on the program here at that time, you're two weeks in, and um, and either at that point or what point did you have like maybe an epiphany that you experienced and like, aha, like this is this is gonna work, this is working, I like it, or whatever, whatever the epiphany you might have had, I don't know what it might be. Um, <laughs> the aha moment. I think there are a couple different times. Um, one when when my clothes started getting really loose and all of my coworkers were noticing like a big difference in how I looked, um, and I was close to my goal but not quite there. But I, I mean, you can, you can see my collarbones now. You can see, you know, some of my neck. You know, my my face is narrower than what it was, um, and especially around like my legs and um, arms and stuff. And they were they were commenting a lot. Um, I think. Probably two of the biggest aha moments was um, I went and saw my aunt and uncle and I, and I had lived with them when I was like in my 20s, like 21, 20, 21, before I got married. Um, and so I lived with them in their house and um, I came to my uncle's 75th birthday party, surprise party. My aunt comes up to me and she gives me the, the biggest hug ever and she pinches me and she says you're as skinny as you were when you lived with us I love it and I was like yeah that's a nice moment um so the compliments and that sort of thing definitely were an aha moment um but then um I uh, get kind of some nicer clothes from a friend who sells them um through this online kind of shop anyway so I I, I went to um, over to her show and I was like well I don't really know what size pants I am anymore um, and so she looked at me and she's really good at knowing people's sizes by looking at them and she's like here try these on and I tried them on and then I took them off and, and she's like oh look great on you she get them I took them off and and they were a size I've never worn before ever wow. and um, yeah there they were a two I've never been a two wow. um, and they're, they're kind of bigger for a two, but they, you know, I've some like a two or a four. Like, I've never been that size ever in my life. And um, so that felt really good. So those, those would be the my ad hoc moments, is being able to, and I, as you know, like, today I'm selling my old clothes at a garage sale, so <laughs> getting some new stuff. So that's nice. It's nice to feel, you know, strong and fit. Absolutely. And so along the way, along the program, uh, during these uh, two months, you lost all this weight, um, do you have any um, um, conflicts you might experience or struggles along the way at all? Yeah, so I'm actually towards the end of phase two and it was initially pretty easy to, to incorporate some of the exercises. I would start doing them during my lunch break um, and that worked out pretty good. Um, 
I think one of the struggles is realizing like I've lost all this body fat so now I'm cold so much more often so adjusting good thing I'm changing my wardrobe because I need more jackets because I'm freezing more often in the office yeah. um, but uh, there have been times where like I know we're supposed to exercise but here's my secret I don't always exercise six days a week sometimes I miss more than one day because it's just busy mom life you know so trying to figure out like schedule and how to make that work I finally figured out on work days I wake up extra early um, it's hot here in the summer in Colorado so um, I take my dog he's I'm looking at my dog here um, we go for a run in the morning we do the morning run the pre-run and the run and then the post run workout and then I pack I um, try and pack up my lunch the night before so I just grab everything for snacks and lunch for work and then um, I have my weights at work so I do the weights and the um, those type of exercises at lunchtime. So it's nice because I've actually figured out like doing the run in the morning warms me up. It helps with my renods. I don't feel so cold at work. Um, so it, that having that kind of routine helps. I'm still working out the weekend routine a little bit, but I'm figuring out mostly to get it done in the morning. You know, yeah. and then you'll feel better about the day. So absolutely, yeah. Get, I, I agree. Getting it done in the morning time, then it's like done. Don't worry about it for the rest of the day. That's a great idea to bring bring your weights to you and, do, and use them on your lunch break at work. So that's great. Um, and by the way, that's phase two she was talking about. After she lost all the weight, um, then we went to phase two where we maintain adjust body fat percentage um, and start some exercise and start eating some more, even more better foods in phase one. Um, tell me here, uh, Dr. Joy, what? Um, What's what's the result that you what, what's the result that you achieved on the program? I think you lost how much weight did you lose? Uh, thirty pounds. Thirty pounds. Thirty pounds. Um, uh, did you get more energy? To, uh, did, you, did you get more energy on the, on the program than you had before, or how did that all work? Or any, any yeah. That? Um, I think the the biggest thing is I sleep excellent. Good. I was not a good sleeper before. I I sleep very well. I fall asleep, hit my head to the pillow, I'm asleep pretty quick, and I'm dead to the world. And then I wake up, my alarm goes off, and I'm like, huh, that's nice. I like that. I'm not, you know, like tossing and turning and, you know, like getting uncomfortable. Um, and then the other thing is, I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm a doctor, but I'm also a mom, and I've given birth to a lot of kids, and kids push things out of place like bones and ribs. Ribs are my biggest problem. Um, and so I would have all, and, and stress, right? Like you put your stress right, well I put my stress right here in my neck and my shoulders. Um, and so I was constantly going to um, get uh, osteopathic manipulation therapy um, and getting adjusted on my neck and my muscles and trying to you know, not have back pain, upper back, lower back, that sort of thing. Um, I haven't been adjusted in four months. Wow. Um, and I don't need to. Um, I'm not achy, I'm not sore, things are aren't out of place, I've got good range of motion, you know, I'm not, you know, and that's helping to sleep too. Um, so, and I, I feel like these two, the changes are more subtle, you know, when, when you drop 30 pounds in, you know, two months, it's obvious to everybody, right? Yeah. But when you like say, look, can you see there's like some lines of muscle in my arm? Like that's slower, you yeah. know, um, the change, the, the how it's, whether it's obvious or not, is slower. Um, still relatively fast because I'm like skin catch up, you need to shrink. But um, it's, it's nice for me to notice that like, yeah, I, I'm getting muscles, I'm getting strong. And um, just with, you know, like I've got an older brother and he's, bad posture and stuff like that like now I'm like more aware of my posture and I'm sitting better and you know a lot of things but I think my favorite exercise is the rows absolutely the rows strengthen your back and balance out your core and that's what I that's what I need is to get rid of back pain is to strengthen the back and balance out the core and keep my shoulders in the right spot so. absolutely that's awesome that's awesome so um Two more things here. Um, did you experience any personal trans transformation along the way also? 
like um, mental, emotional, is that what you mean by personal? Yes. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I feel better about myself. I like how I look. I feel more confident in my appearance and in interacting with people. I don't feel like, you know, there's always, when, you, when you're unhappy with how you look or, or who your mental image of yourself is, doesn't match your actual mirror, what you see in the mirror. Um, you know, sometimes you'll like walk by the mirror and you'll be like surprised. I was like, oh, I forgot I looked like that, you know. Um, now I walk by the mirror or, or whatnot and I'm like, yep, that's how I look. That's how I always thought. That's how I project myself in my mind. And so having that like lack of dissidence, you know, lack of like that harmony of what I perceive of myself and what I um, what other people see mm-hmm. is nice um, and mm, very healing. If that makes sense. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, one more thing here too. Um, and you you read the uh, Stronger Woman Manifesto. Uh, what do you think about that? I think it's good. I think it's it's important to empower people to believe in themselves and to believe that they can change. Um, I mean, I'm a family medicine doctor. Most of what I do is not measured in like, hey, I surgery you and you are healed. It's more of like, I've encouraged what you knew was healthy for yourself, um, to make good choices for yourself and to realize that how you take care of your body, even if it needs medication to be added to it, um, makes a difference. And so it's a lot of like motivational interviewing and encouraging people to you know, feel empowered. And that's kind of what the Stronger Woman Manifesto was. was it. Absolutely. Well, I know. Absolutely. Um, last thing is, uh, for anybody watching this, this, uh, this video right now, if they're wondering like, um, they're on the fence about joining the diet, if this will work for them, if they're a busy mom, or however many children they might have, or if they have a busy career, or just all this stuff, and um, will they actually lose weight? Will they start feeling better? Uh, what would you and what would you tell that person right now? You just gotta jump in and give it a try. Um, I mean, like I said, you know, I'm a busy mom and a full-time family medicine doctor, and um, I mean, I still take the call, I still deliver babies, I still uh, do some operations. I mean, I'm a busy person, but it's like you just have to make that decision for yourself, and when you're ready to do that and do it and you'll it will work um, and the biggest thing that makes the difference is you know like when you get a little over a week you get 10 days worth of food menu wise sent you an email just pick a day do your grocery shopping come home prep it all and then you're good for the week you know and so like just kind of it, it takes some intentional planning and that's what life is about is being intentional with the choices that you make so not too it's not too hard and then day to day it's just okay grab that grab that throw that in the bag and you're off to go you know it's not extra work absolutely well you heard from her um thanks for watching this here and if you want more information of course you can go to jasonpearsondiet.com that's uh p-e-a-r-s-o-n or strongerwoman.com get more information and other than that look forward to working with you and thank you for coming on here uh joy